Well, I'd just like to welcome you all here this evening to Healy's Barn Kilcorny um, for a music of song and dance and entertainment. And hopefully we'll all have a good evening and we'll see how it goes. All right, we'll start with Anne Marie O'Reardon. Thanks. Silent night, holy night, all is calm, all is bright, round yon virgin mother and child. I'm 
so jovial as the most three sportsman, the bold Teddy Quill.
we will talk about the neighbors, the weather and the times, and who the boys were courting on the sly. We would watch the colleagues passing down and bid them the time of day. And perhaps we'd catch a twinkle in their eyes. So in dreams I love to ramble down the village streets and meet the boys and girls gathered there for to see. Rungs. Around the chapel gates in Curit Lane. Now I'm growing old and weary in this land so far away. But I'll return to Ireland yet if God will spare. And when all is done, they leave me at the closing of my days. Inside the chapel gates in Curit Lane, inside the chapel gates in Curit Two lovers meet down by the green bower. When two lovers meet down by the green tree, when Mary, my fond Mary, declared unto her lover. You have stolen my poor heart on the banks of the Lee, for I loved her very dearly, most true and so sincerely. There is no one in this white world I love more than she. Every bush and every bower, every rose and pretty flower reminds me of my Mary on the banks of the Lee. Three auras. By the clouds, mossy banks, one evening I stray. For to while away those leisure hours before the break of day, my mind it starts to rambles of the days no long gone by. When I roam the free as the wild march winds roam the fields of Latin Rye. For oft I'm with our dogs and sticks close to the break of day. Barefooted o'er the new clatterers we carelessly stray to hunt the rabbits on and course the hare Till the moon rose in the sky. Those were the happy days we spent round the fields of Vatten Rye. Then homeward bound at evening time, we went our weary ways, and we talked of the trills and all the spills that we had throughout the day. And when the new moon we would see Out in the evening sky 
And we'd hear the cornu's plaintive call Round the fields of Vatten Rye We had some famous hunting dogs I'll mention but a few <coughs> We had Red and Speed and Rebel Bolt We had Noble Morty too But Bruno was the king of all As o'er the sands he'd fly And woe betide the hair that strayed Round the fields of Vatten Rye I remember well young Jimmy, so wild without a care. As he sped across the moorlands, you could see his flaxen hair. Just to watch himself and rebel, should it fill your heart with joy. As they hunted for the rabbits, Round the fields of Vatten Rye. I recall to mind young Joseph, who left for the Irish guards. He was tall and square, with blondy hair. He'd outrun us all by yards. But still in all his rambles, beneath a nanny sky. In his heart he was home, a-hunting, round the fields of Vatten Rye. As now I'm old, and my head is grey, and I'm bent with the weight of years, when I think of all those happy times, my eyes grow dim with tears. But still I love to ramble, to where the trout rise to the fly. Down by the clarence's mossy banks that flows through Watton Rye. And when the Lord would call for me and my final peace be made, in that hallowed hill above the town, tis there I will be laid. And when the final judgment comes With its fanfare from the sky I will rise and then We will hunt again Round the fields of Matin Rye Next now we have Steve Roach doing a recitation. Well indeed. I, I hope I'll be able to compete with what has been done already. It's been a, a wonderful evening of entertainment from the very start. And um, I'm going to do material from the rambling houses, which I go to a lot at the moment. That would be from here, from uh, the Cork to the Kerry border and down to the West Limerick. And uh, it's a wonderful time of the year for all these nights, and they've been in jail with so many. Tonight I'm going to do uh, a quick run and the story and the song that I'm always involved in. Well, now the story always changes, as you know, and I'm always trying to pick up a new story. But I heard a very good one over. I was over in Churchtown the other night, over in uh, near Mallow, and this fellow down near Kilmallock, he, he told the story, and I said, well, I'm going to keep this one for the next night out. So he just told the story about this, uh, about this man. Uh, he had... He had a serious illness now, he had cancer, a very advanced stage. And this day he got a, a bad pain and had to go to the doctor. But he couldn't drive, so his son took him down to the surgery. And while he was in with the doctor, the son sat in the car. And when the, when the father came out, he said, son, he said, the news is bad. I have cancer all over me, I have three months to live and that's it. I must go and I must set up my affairs. Before, before we do anything, you know, will you ever drive me down to the pub? And the son said, Dad, you're not going to the pub this hour of the evening. It's a bit early. He said, I must go now. He said, because all my workmates that I work with will be in there now. And he said, I'll be able to tell them, he said, firsthand about my illness before they hear it from some other source. So they went out to the pub, and yes, the workers, they were all there. And he told them, 
uh, and he said, I have a problem with some of my health, as you know. He said, very advanced at three months to live. He said no more, but of course, one of the last said, is it fair to ask you what is your problem? What are you dying of? He said, seriously, he said, I'm dying of AIDS. But the lads were stepping back a small bit at this stage from him now. So on the way home, the son said, Dad, what happened there in the pub? He said, you told the lads you're, you're dying of AIDS, and you told me you're dying of cancer. He said, son, I told you the truth. I am dying of cancer, he said. But he said, I told them boys there, my friends, I was dying of AIDS, because I don't want them boys, he said, chase you after your mother when I'm gone. <laughs> I'm going to go back to my roots. Uh, I'm going to go back to my roots. Uh, growing back, growing up in a village, Rock Chapel back in the Cockery border. There were no buses to take us to school. But uh, the bus used to come once a year to take us to Ballyburn. And so it was an annual event. So I wrote a bit of a recitation about going back to Ballyburn in that last week of July. A lot of you might have heard this before. We planned our annual holiday when I was just a lad. I went to Ballyburnan, but the weather was always bad. In my brand new shirt and my shoes that hurt, the ones my mother saved to buy, to go to Ballyburnan on that last week of July. We met the bus down in the square with my bucket in my hand and all the fuss to get on the bus, because I always had to stand. Then I'd be sick, I'd be sick, and my shoes I'd kick, the ones my mother saved to buy, to go to Ballyburn in that last week of July. That put me up by the driver for me to get some air, and my mother would say, he's never been like this before, and she'd come, and comb my hair. But then when I'd see the sea, oh, when I'd see that sea, I'd want to pee. And if I couldn't, I would cry when I went to Ballyburnan on the last week of July. Our caravan was waiting there two miles from the sea. And we forced the suitcases open because my uncle lost the key. Then I tried to light the gas fire, and I burned half my tie when I went to Ballyburnan on that last week of July. We went to the beach on the Sunday, and I created quite a fuss. I pinched my brother's bucket. I did because I left mine on the bus. Then I caught my foot with a bottle, and my cousin said, You'll die, and we'll bury you in Ballyburnan on the last week of July. We left for home on the Monday with my bucket full of shells. The weather was getting better then, with bright and with sunny spells. As we came back into that bus, we waved the sea goodbye on my trip to Ballyburnan. When? The last week of July. I'm going to finish up very quickly, because there's some great entertainers here this evening. I'm finishing up very quickly with a song I wrote about oh, 12 or 14 years ago, I think. We all remember our first car. Your first car is so important when you get your license, 17 years of age, keys in your hand. It isn't the type of car you drive is just to be on the road and uh, be driving. My first car in 1969, was an Angley Deluxe, a Ford Angley Deluxe, bought it for a hundred pound, tax insured it for 25, and filled the tank for a pound. 126, the price of two tires at the moment. 
my first car, the Angley Deluxe. Is there anything nicer than an Angley Deluxe? What a stylish design and such lovely good looks. The long chromey stripe from the front to the back and up on the top was a sturdy roof rank. Well, me father, he drove one for 20 long years. Ten of these years, he had no second gear. The hand in the clock never passed 45. That kept the old engine alive. Is there anything nicer than an Angley Deluxe? What a stylish design and such lovely good looks. The long chrome stripe from the front to the back and up on the top was a sturdy roof rank. One day he left me drive the Angley Deluxe. When I hit the gate post, he gave me bad looks. Are you cock-eyed, blind either? Can you see at all? You clown, will you mind that stone wall? Well, me father, he died at 82. And he said, come here, Johnny, I've good news for you. I'll give you the keys, also the handbooks. Always look after the Angley Deluxe. Well, I have a boy, and he's now 13. And he's looking out to the same old windscreen. We've just changed the oil, and she's going like a clock. So on the 15th of August, We'll face her for a knock. Is there anything nicer than an Angley Deluxe? What a stylish design and such lovely good looks. The long chrome stripe from the front to the back and up on the top was a sturdy roof rack and up on the top was a sturdy roof rack. Thank you so much. Is that right? You're all well the Is that how you feel, Peggy? <coughs> Tis I'd say. Yeah. Next note to entertain us, we have Peggy Lynch from Banagri. Hi, Peggy. <coughs> I'm going to sing an old song. It's called The School of Balnegree. The mountains lift their hairy heads and streams come rushing down. Mid fields of gorse and fern clad hills and boglands bleak and brown. They Sun kiss lopingly and nestling in the shade there stands the school of Balnagri. The boys, the benches and the books I see in every dream and memory sweet of childhood days before my vision team. John Buckley shop, the tones and tops, the old white 
thorn tree beneath to shade we planned and played O school of Balnagree <clears throat> I wish in vain to be again upon that winding road from Coplin Bourne to Robin's Lock my heart without a load and oh how sweet to be to hear the funny bird and be that music made in sun and shade god bless you balnagree and of times on life's weary road when friendless and alone up through the maze of happy years my thoughts have fondly flown to visit haunts of happy hours and linger lovingly o'er that dear spot i'll ne'er forget the school of baldagri thank you the night is fading fast and i'm thinking of the past as i'm sitting with my darling by my side she's an old and wrinkled dame still i love her just the same as that happy day she came to be my bride i think i see her now with a smile upon her brow as she told me she'd be mine forevermore i'd no land our fortune wide but i took her homeward bride to the cabin with the roses round the door light-hearted did i toil and i found that grateful soil gave me back for my work a hundredfold if i'd enough and i could spare for the poor a tiny share then i'd envy not the planter and his gold but we had to share a grief resignation brought relief it was sad until the bitterness was o'er for we both were sorely tried when our little darling died in the cabin with the roses round the door but still we'll journey on though the boys and girls have gone to the city with the bustle and the strife they have left us here alone in a cabin that's our own where patiently we wait the close of life 
but together all in all, some sweet stories we recall of the little one we know that's gone before. Still we're happy, though we know that too we soon will go from the cabin with the roses round the door. Thank you. Next now we have a woman who needs an introduction, I think, Elmeria Dwyer. Welcome Elmeria, thanks. Thanks very much. I suppose for the year that's in it, I'll try a 1916 song called The Dying Rebel. <clears throat> the night was dark And the fight was over The moon shone down O'Connell Street I stood alone men perished those men are gone they're good to meet my only son was shot in Dublin fighting for his country bold he fought for Ireland and Ireland only the harp the shamrock green white and gold the first I met was a grey haired father searching for his only son man there's no use searching for up to heaven your son has gone the old man cried out broken hearted bending low I heard him say too kind-hearted I knew my son would never yield the next I met was a dying rebel bending o'er I heard him say God bless my home in dear Cork City, God bless the cause for which I die. My only son was shot in Dublin, fighting for his country bold. He for Ireland and Ireland only the harp the shamrock green white and gold thank you <clears throat> um, I better I suppose show her my loyalties line I'll do a Fremont song uh, the Creamery song, song that was written by Paddy Collins, and I suppose it tells the story of the demise of the local creamery in Fremont, and I suppose it's a story that can be applied nearly to every rural area in the country. Um, so I'll give it a go. It's the Creamery song. <clears throat> oh, the creamery was knocked to the ground. It once was the heart of Fremont. There were jobs 34, but there ain't any more. 
for the creamery was knocked to the ground. Paddy Stokes was the first in a daybreak, in the boiler to stoke and ignite. There was plenty of steam, the machinery sang. A day's work in the dairy began. And then the farmer arrived in his pony and car. And while waiting, they'd have an all spar. They talk of the games and the state of the land. And then they'd swing the tanks up on the stand. For the creamery was knocked to the ground. It once was the heart of Fremont. There were jobs 34, but there ain't any more. For the creamery was knocked to the ground. The finest butter and cheddar was made there. By lorry it was shipped everywhere. Billy Ryan and his team were the best it would seem. And one in six was the price of fresh cream. But the hum of the mill is no more now. They made meals for the pig and the cow. No more reaping and binding, no threshing, no plowing. Just the winds through the mill now are blowing. For the creamery was knocked to the ground. It once was the heart of Fremont. There were jobs 34, but there ain't any more. For the creamery was knocked to the ground. Amalgamation is fine, should they said at the time. Ah, but progress, the price will bring pain. Now the village is quiet, we just go there at night. For the jobs we must travel outside. To the men with the courage who built you. To the workers who are loyal and true. And let the dairy in heaven be your just reward. May they rest in the land of the Lord. For the creamery was knocked to the ground. It once was the heart of Fremont. There were jobs 34, but there ain't any more. For the creamery was knocked to the ground. There were jobs 34, but there ain't any more. For the creamery was knocked to the ground. Thank you very much. Thank you. Next now we have Jory Keller, all the way from Mallow. He's going to give us a song. Oh, sorry. Very you. good. No. Trust no no down to Dulcheer, Dulcheer. Slawlish and weakness is slawlish and gain. Gallim o creag is galley and green. Galvig fella go heren. Honnoch mo ho in the here again. Ora gusari get severus and thiel, Irian and crean am le brak a gach le, Smerdrid am le duhig mo winter, Agus tras na na damta, Dull cheer, dull cheer, Slawlish and oignus is slawlish and gain, Gallim o cri agus galle an grian, Galveig fella go heren, Mainter run the her sheet card a mockery. Faltergus fail a little omer got thief. A dog and tantas a shagreamer and re. Good loss and a heen for a gill me. Agus trast and a dante. Dull sheer, dull sheer. Slawlish and weakness is slawlish and gain. Gallimocry, Agus galle and green. Galvig fella go heaven. I'll do a foggy gallon layer to the another yeah. one that I kind of know. Foggy gallon layer.
Do you know that when you do it, John? <laughs> huh? A her mad in mock, the hog house a mock, a her froch lochlin, on sour tax on crevle nash, is londre te on grin, er hash del dom chi valte pert, is bonte mine re. Kei yong le mash, ach an cool and das, le fong e yal on le. Ni re brog na stok a chaip na klok, er must ori no gon spear. Ach fall fu norge. She's got trig, it falls good on her. Fi call on cruelty, yen a gluck, is her groat by yes, she gave. The herug bar yen, her vanished as, lefong a yell on lame. On Raglan Road of an autumn day, I saw her first anew. That her dark hair would weave a snare that I might one day rue. I saw the danger and I passed along the enchanted way. And I said, let grief be a fallen leaf at the dawning of the day. On Grafton Street in November, we trip lightly along the ledge. Of the deep ravine where can be seen the worth of passion's pledge. The queen of heart still making tarts, and I not making hay. Oh, I love too much, and by such and such is happiness thrown away. The he and free dog she slamash, her vein shall loss the nair. Ig magi levis tam if go pras, marv ni nag scaring le. She do she lamse e me go im iskiler shul me reik. She neared the nest, no herself she taught, laughing a yell on lay. She named. Next, now we'll have um, two songs from Marie and Brida from the Diamond Sisters. I don't think they need to be introduced either. Okay, girls, thanks. I'm going to do our new single, it's a number called I Wish It Would Rain from our new CD. On sale this evening, we to get a copy. <laughs> plug, bit of a bit of plug there. Oh, I wish it would rain, I wash my face clean. I want to find some dark cloud to hide it in here. Oh, Sparkle like diamonds when the diamonds fall. They burn like tears when the diamonds fall. They burn like tears. Once I had a love in the Georgia Pines who only cared for me. I want to find that love at 22 here at 33. I've got a heart on my right and one on my left, and that suits my needs. Now the one I love is way out west, and he never will need me. So I wish it would rain, I wash my face clean. I want to find some dark cloud 
to hide in here all love in a memory sparkle like diamonds when the diamonds fall they burn like tears when the diamonds fall they burn like tears Gonna pack up my two step shoes and head for the golf course place. I wanna walk the streets of my own hometown where everybody knows my name. I wanna ride the waves down in Galveston when the hurricanes roll in. Cause that golf course of water tastes sweet as wine when your heart's rolling home in the wind. Oh, I wish it would rain. Wash my face clean. I wanna find We're going to do waltz this time, lovely number one called An Irish Man's Dream. I roam the wide world over and all the lands I've seen. There's no place else I'd rather dwell than a little island of green. Only last night I was gazing on a sight that thrilled me true. For what I saw, I'll see no more. It was too good to be true. But the shamrock was growing on Broadway. Every girl was an Irish Colleen And the town of New York was the county court All the buildings painted green And the huts did like the Shannon So good and real it did seem I could hear mother singing Sweet Shannon man's ringing Chose only an Irish man's dream you never miss familiar scenes until you are far away. And you'll never know what homeland means until you're away to stay. Then you'll picture each reminder of the face you sadly miss. Sure, I'd give the world to see again another dream like this but the shamrock was growing on broadway every girl was an irish colleen and the town of new york was the county cork all the buildings painted green and the huts did like the shannon so good and real it did seem I could hear mother singing, sweet Shannon man's ringing, Tis only an Irish man's dream. Well, I could hear mother singing, sweet Shannon man's ringing, Tis only an Irish man's dream. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> we'll do a number called The Old Rustic Bridge by the Mill. Oh. I'm T. Kick tonight of the old rusty bridge <coughs> that bends o'er a murmuring stream. And was there back each year with her heart full of cheer? We straight neath the moon, gentle be. Twas there I first met her, the light in your eyes awoke in my heart as we trip. Though now far away, 
till my thoughts only stray to the old rusty breach by the mill. Beneath and a stream gently ripples around it the boards love to trill. Don't I Till my thoughts fondly stray to the old rustic bridge by the mill. <coughs> Keep in my memory our love of the past with me. It was planted to last in absence, it never grows cold. While I think of you, darling, when lonely at night, and when all is peaceful and still, my heart wanders. To the old rusty bridge by the mill Beneath a stream gently ripples <coughs> Around it the birds love to trill Till my thoughts only stray to the old rustic bridge by the mill. To the old rustic bridge by the mill. <laughs> Next now we have a, a request here for Sean O'Dwyer, so Sean is going to come up and give us a song. Welcome Sean, thanks. Tis far away I am today from scenes I roamed by, and long ago the hour I know I first saw El and I. Time nor tide nor water wide would wean my heart away. Forever true it flies to you, my own dear Galway Bay. A prouder man I'd walk the land in health and peace of mind. If I my toil and strife and mile, nor cast one thought behind, what would be this world to me, its rank and rich array? If memory I lost of thee, my own dear Galway Bay. O oh, grey and bleak by shore and creek, the rugged rocks abound. But sweeter green the grass between that grows on Irish ground. O oh, friendship fond all wealth beyond, and love that lived always. Bless each poor home beside your foam, my own dear Galway Bay. Had I youth's blood and hopeful mood and heart of fire once more, 
For all the gold this ship might hold, I'd never quit your shore. I'd be content whatever God send, with neighbors old and gray, and lay my bones near church at stones beside you, Galway Bay. The blessings of a poor old man be with you night and day. The blessings of a lonely man whose heart will soon be clay. Tis all the heaven I'd ask of God upon my dying day. My soul to soar forevermore above you, Galway Bay. My soul to soar forevermore above you, Galway Bay. An Irish mother writing to her son so far away said I meant to send some shamrock you could wear on Patrick's Day but the shamrock's a tender plant whose beauty soon would fade so a sprig of Irish heather I am sending you instead. Just a sprig of Irish heather that has seen all kinds of weather. It stood the heat of summer and survived the winter's cold. I am sending to remind you of the friends you left behind you in Tyrone among the bushes in the days of long ago. But remember Cardona and the mass rock standing there, how we oft times knell together, and you twist a childish prayer. Many times since then I've wondered when the evening shadows steal. So I pluck this heather from the spot where once you used to kneel. Just a sprig of Irish heather that has seen all kinds of weather. It stood the heat of summer and survived the winter's cold. I am sending to remind you of the friends you left behind you in Tyrone among the bushes in the days of long ago. Now the years from me are slipping, and I know I'm growing old, by the fireside lonely sitting, as the nights grow dark and cold. But I know your smile to cheer me and make sunshine out of blue. So come back to me, Makushla, when the heather tis in bloom. 
Just a sprig of Irish heather That has seen all kinds of weather It stood the heat of summer And survived the winter's cold I am sending to remind you of the friends you left behind you in Tyrone among the bushes in the days of long ago. Just a sprig of Irish heather sent with love from long ago. Now we have the, some of the boys from the Heather's Own Band in Royal Line. All right, thanks, lads.
David O'Reardon, who came third in the Monsters lately, and we have Grace, who is going to the World Championships next year, so a bit of Irish dancing. Thank you.
song, you know, from Pat Sullivan from Scott to Glenn. All right, Pat. There's a place in Cork and Kerry that's the fairest ever seen with its streams and lofty mountains and its valleys rich and green the people there are charming and they speak with love and pride of their lovely grand and pleasant land along Shlievlokra Sae. It would be worthwhile to ramble there when spring is in the air, to hear the thrushes warble and the skylark's notes so rare, the cuckoo's call so loud and clear is heard both far and wide as he soars on high up in the sky along Shlivlokra side. The music men who once lived there, their names we do recall. Padre Keith, Dennis Murphy, Johnny Larry in the hall. But our present day musicians too are as fine as ever tried when their tunes they play each night and day along Schlieflokra side. Schlieflokra has some place names the finest you will see. Scatteglen and Ganev Gwela Ratmore and Knocknagree in Tom Fleming's bar you can have a jar Hear a polke or a slide When those musicians play their instruments Along Schlieflokra side If you visit this enchanting land You're surely going to find A warm friendly people there who oh, are always true and kind. So now to finish up my song, may the Lord your footsteps guide, and a fun farewell from all who dwell along Shlivlokra side. Thank you. Thanks. In dreams once more I wander back across the ocean blue to dwell again amid the scene that long ago I knew. To roam once more those green clad hills with young sirs free and gay, and to hear the wild birds warble round my old home far away. Ah, the little school, I see it still, where I spent my boyhood years. The master's voice I seem to hear resounding in my ears. I seem to see my school day pals that with me used to play along the road that runs beside my old home far away. I stroll along the lake shore so peaceful and serene. Beauty's home Killarney decorates the scene. The sandy hills of Clara 
that look across the bay, o'er the verdant hills of Kerry and my old home far away. And often by the Kushla Bridge, in youth again I strode to hear the tinkling of the clar along that mountain road. The clay the hills beside the stream where nature's beauty lay, should they ever seem to call me back to my old home far away. How oh, often in those happy days we roam those hills with glee, from the groves of Balvoor to the plains of Knocknagree. And as my thoughts go back again in that sad and lonely way, Sure, my heart is in old Ireland and my old home far away. Thank you.